Hello viewers and welcome to the he learning classroom. So today we want to learn about the six A's thermometer. So you can see here, this is a six A's uh, maximum and the minimum thermometer. So before that, we are going to learn about the normal thermometer before we go to the six A's thermometer. So let's look at this thermometer. This is now the normal thermometer. So if you look at the normal thermometer, you realize that there is a bulb here. We have the bulb. Then we have a scale. A scale in degrees Celsius. And then the scale is running from, from negative 10 all the way to 100 degrees Celsius. So this is a normal thermometer. We have the bulb here. We have alcohol. Remember, alcohol is normally colorless. But this one has been colored so that you can be able to see it. But it is normally colorless in uh, its nature. So we have the, the components there. These are the components of the, of the normal thermometer now. So with that, I want us now to go to the... I want us now to go to the 6s maximum and minimum thermometer. So if you look at the 6s now... You realize that uh, there is a minimum side there then there is a maximum side here so the maximum side is ra running from negative 20 to 50 then the minimum side is running from 50 all the way to negative 20 it's running from 50 all the way to negative uh, 20 so and then with that now we can also Let's first reset the thermometer. So I have a magnet here. This is a horseshoe magnet. So I'll first use the magnet to reset the to reset the thermometer, the six is thermometer. So I have the thermometer here. You can see the components. We have the bulb here. We have alcohol here. Alcohol is normally colorless in nature. Then we also have the so after alcohol here, which is colorless, we also have mercury here. If you look at the mercury, you realize that it is silvery, silvery in color. Then we have alcohol this other side, and then we also have the vacuum here. We have the vacuum. You can see when you tilt, you can see what's happening. The liquid is moving up here, the vacuum, meaning there's some liquid here. You can see that. You cannot be able to see that. So let's first reset the metal index. Uh, we have the first metal index here. We have reset that. Let's reset this other one here. Remember, this metal index can move up and down. We have reset the two metal indices. You can see this one can easily move up and down. This one also can do the same. But now we, we have reset the two metal indices. So with this now, we want to know what happens. So when you hit the... When the temperature rises, you realize that the liquid from the bulb, the liquid from the bulb, this liquid here, which is full, the full uh, liquid here from the bulb will push down the level of mercury and half on the right hand side. So the mercury will go down on the left side and go up on the right side because it will be pushed by this liquid uh, which is from the full bulb. And in that case, now the metal index here will rise up to the maximum value, so it will be rising. Then when temperature goes down, the liquid again in the bulb uh, will be cooled. And that means now this liquid in the bulb here will contract. And when the liquid on this side contracts, then mercury will rise up on this side and go down on this side. So when it rises here, then it pushes up this metal index. So that means 
This metal index is used to, to, to read the lowest temperature, the minimum temperature reached mostly during the night because it is only red. It is only uh, going up when the, the temperature lowers, in other words, when the liquid is contracting. That's why you can see the scale is going downwards, all the way to negative 20. Then the scale here, we have seen it occurs when temperature rises and this liquid expands, so it pushes down the level of mercury, which rises on this side, pushing up the, the metal index, just like uh, the normal thermometer. So with that now, we want to see, for example, let's say I have a candle here. There's a candle. I want to heat this liquid slightly as you observe the bulb. So I want you to observe the, the metal index here, this metal index here. So let's see, for example, observe the metal index. I hope you're able to see what's happening there. So the metal index has gone up. So the metal index has been able to go up there after heating uh, that uh, after heating that uh, liquid in the bulb. So you realize the level has gone up here. So and as it went up, as this level went up, remember this one uh, remained where it was. This metal index did not go up as the other one went up. So let me remove this. So you realize that as the level here was going up, this one, there was a gap here left. There was uh, some gap left here. As this one was going up, remember now it has started already going down. If you cool it, it will be able to go down again. Remember, this one is used to measure the lowest temperature reached for a day and the highest temperature reached for a day. So that is uh, the 6S thermometer. This is now the 6S thermometer. So you realize that uh, this side is used to, to record the temperature when this liquid contracts and the mercury rises, pushing up the metal index. And then we are said this other side is used to record the temperature when this liquid here from the bulb expands, pushing up the level of mercury here, and therefore the metal index is able to, to rise. So in other words, let me reset the, the, the indexes. So that marks the end of our today's session. That marks the end of our today's session. Wish you the very, very best.